This is my Great West 8 on Black. Welcome back to 8, 8 on Black Experience right here on the PW Hunter Zone. And also, welcome to my birthday weekend. Yeah, that's right, folks. Tomorrow I'm going to be turning 29 this year. And this weekend is going to be unbelievable when it comes to wrestling. Because not only are you going to have AEW Rampage, the first dance tonight, you also going to have SummerSlam tomorrow night. As you can see in the background, you got to have one way versus John Cena. We were a championship in the main event. And also, you got to have NXT TakeOver 36, August 22nd. And also, not only that, yesterday, the news broke after the, uh, the Las Vegas trials. At, when this girl right here, the Lioness, Faith the Lioness, Faith Jeffries, Faith J, call her one, but you can call her the newest, newest signee to WWE, and I could be more happier. As you guys know, I've been praising this chick ever since I saw her on, on, on WoW, kicking ass, kicking names, and I'm glad I'm glad she got an opportunity to not only try out for the uh, WWE in her hometown, but get signed to the company on the very same weekend. So shout out to the line, the line that is fake Jeffries, and I hope I hope they treat you with the the, with the respect and the gratitude that you that you, that you truly deserve. So shout out to you, Lion Pride for life. Anyway, let's get to the the West, what what's going on this weekend when it comes to wrestling. Starting off with the first dance, eight oh eight rampage in the United Center in Chicago, Illinois tonight. Now actually they already announced the matches for tonight, so whatever happens with Darby Allen confronting the best in the world, it's not gonna be a match, it's gonna be a confrontation and set up to a, a match down the road at all out with also gonna be in Chicago. But the three three matches gonna be that gonna be happening tonight would be Pirate Party versus Dragon Express. We're gonna go into on them face Varsity Blondes and or, or the Loser Bros and we're gonna uh, at that match we're gonna be going up against Young Bucks, in Chicago for all out for the tag titles and still case match. This I think the second ever uh still case match if you wanna count um Blood and Gus. But you also gotta have Jake Ogio, who's back back on TV finally, as he's going up against Kira Hogan. This is her third. This is her Kira Hogan's third appearance on AW. She was on Dark Elevation. She was on Dark, and now she's on Rampage. She's on AW TV finally. Uh, someone tells me she got to get signed to AW sooner or later, and I would not be mad about that. And also the main event of Dark, the, the Rampage. You also gotta have you gotta have John Moxley versus Dan Garcia. And so for some reason, uh, 2.0, who also got signed at AEW uh, a couple days ago, attacked uh, John Moxley and Eddie Kingston, and they, they weren't even part of the show. I don't know why they attacked him. I don't know why John, John Moxley and uh, Eddie Kingston were headed to the ring, but they got attacked by 2.0, and that's why this match is happening, because John Moxley is pissed off, and Dan Garcia is looking to face the best in the AEW. And, you know, I don't blame him. Dan Garcia has been killing that right as uh, of late, and I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen much of him before before uh, he came to AEW, but I'm glad he's in AEW, he's just kicking ass, taking names. The only thing I don't like is him walking around with these nerds 2.0, everywhere, everywhere. And I don't like he do for the, for the front jump. I think they, they're corny, and and I don't know why they end up having a match against Sting and Darby Allin this past uh, Wednesday on Dynamite, right? but whatever, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even uh, ran about that, but the big story of Rampage is Darby Allen coming out to confront the best in the world. Every, every time we hear that that phrase, we hear we always hear the rumblings of same man. No, no, not same man, but CM Punk. Now I don't know what to what to believe. I'm not gonna sit here and, and say that. Oh. See if Punk is gonna, is gonna be in AEW because they make it obvious that this guy not gonna be uh, not gonna be in AEW. Like uh, they they can been teasing and teasing and teasing this guy being in AEW, and who knows it might it might happen. But the more they tease tease them, the more, most likely most likely they're not, they're not gonna happen right away. But so God, I mean, first off, am I excited to see CM Punk in AEW? No, I'm not. I'm not, I was not really the biggest CM Punk fan. I, I was, 
I was like, you know, a fan of his when he was in uh, uh, WWE as like the having this uh, historic championship one. You know, I I, I went to my I went to my first Ring of Honor show wearing a CM Punk show, shirt. Doesn't mean I'm, I'm a martyr about him. You know, you're not seeing me making videos about CM Punk returning to WWE every freaking week by Sean's view. So I'm not like that. I'm not a, the biggest CM Punk fan, but I will be a fan of his. One way, uh, if, it, if I, uh, I'm interested in his matches or uh, I'm interested in his promos uh, or whatnot, I'm not the biggest uh, CM Punk hater like uh, Billy Ray Valentine. But I'm not the big, I'm not the biggest fan of it when it comes to like marking out about him. I'm not gonna mark out when he comes out this Friday if he does come out. But who knows? They might surprise us uh, having either Dane Bryan show up or who knows? Yeah, you have a, a certain Colin Ward Kingpin. Walking around America, we're Osprey. Who knows? He might show up at AEW at, at Rampage tonight to look for, confront uh, Darby Allen. You never know. You never know who's gonna come out and to confront Darby Allen. But you do know, gonna be a surprise. You gotta be talk about for for quite a while. So I'm 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 uh, intrigued to see what happens tonight on Rampage. And speaking of being intrigued, tomorrow night we got SummerSlam, the biggest event of the summer. Y'all, and also on my, it's on my birthday. This is like the, this is the third time, someone's gonna be on my, my birth, on my birthday, and I tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta say, the like last couple of some some slam events had not been intriguing, and not had not excited me like this. So uh, uh summer summer slams have haven't intrigued me in the past, cause. All the times I've been intrigued, or, or every time I, I get hyped for SummerSlam, it always disappoints me. It always disappoints you guys, the fans. But this SummerSlam, it has it has a lot of hits and a lot of misses. I mean, you got freaking Eva Marie versus Alyssa Bliss. Enough said. That's all I need to say about that when it comes to misses. But if you want to bring up more misses, you have freaking. Drew McIntyre versus Jim Hall, a few that we we were looking forward to, but since Drew McIntyre not WWE champion anymore, why should we be intrigued? Why should we be invested in this? You also gotta have, of course, Goldberg versus Bob Lashley. Bob Lashley better win. He better win. If Goldberg wins, you better have uh, Bob Lashley go out. Just destroy this guy to the point that Biggie cashes in on Goldberg, or do have it have that happen to, to uh, Bob Lashley? Have Bob Lashley get a speared out of, out of his boots and have Biggie cash in on Bob Lashley? Because it makes more sense to have Biggie cash in on Bob Lashley than Roman Reigns. Let's be real here. Have you not seen what they, he did to the New Day? Is it was Kobe Kingston? He had never seen. He haven't he ever seen what he did in the, to the New Day? It makes more sense to have Biggie cash in on, on Bob Lashley. Not one Reigns. Speaking of one Reigns, you gotta have the Tribe Chief the head of the table defending this championship against John Cena. And people are raving, raving and raving about how great the promo was between these two last week on, on SmackDown. But let's 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 be real, that promo did not make sense, especially for John Cena. Like, uh, he ran to uh, Daniel Bryan out of the WWE. He almost won Seth Rollins' career. First of all, he didn't win Seth Rollins' career. He set on doing just, just fine. Dean Bull didn't lead WWE because of the Roman Reigns. He left because of the Vince McMahon and say he booking. So let's just get that out of the way. And I like the little, cute little uh, reference having him, you know, I got worn out of, out of the arena and blow your kids. You know, nice CM Punk reference, dude. But like, seriously, people want, people want, I was expecting John Cena to win. I don't want that to happen. I don't want to see John Cena winning. I want Roman Reigns to retain, to retain. Have someone more credible take the title off of Roman Reigns. But I digress. I think it's gonna be a great, good match. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot better than that match that uh, they had at uh, the first, the first match they had at uh, No Mercy a couple years ago. But um, that's all I gotta say about that. I mean, I'm more the other matches I'm, I'm, I'm excited for are Selwyn versus Edge. That's gonna be a great match. I, I might, might be match at night. Or this match right here, S uh, Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair too for the SmackDown Women Championship. You also gotta have RK Bro 
finally challenged for the, uh, for the uh, World Tag Championship against AJ Styles and almost, and you got got Mysterio versus the, the Usos for SmackDown Women Tag SmackDown Tag Championships, and please God, please, someone take the title off of, off of Nikki Nikki Cross or Nikki almost a superhero. I mean, this this, this chick is not is not over. They literally booing this chick out of the building. I don't care if it was, it was her idea. I don't I don't care if it was Mr. Man's idea. This gimmick sucks. It sucks. I don't care that we 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 really went to tie, tie back. And at at this point, I don't give a I don't give a damn. It's all that went to tie back. I don't want to, I just want Nikki Cross to just go away with this gimmick. Cause this gimmick sucks. I'm sorry, but I'm, I hope I hope. Summer Slam is a great uh, pay per view tomorrow uh, tomorrow night because I've been invested I've been excited about this pay per view for for years every time it, come, it, it comes around and I just hope it it delivers. But speaking of delivering, a, a pay per view or so that always delivers to a certain degree. NXT Takeover 36, NXT Takeover has uh have always been uh, always delivered at some uh, certain degree and. This take take over not gonna be any different, cause four matches could could potentially be matches matches that night. You got Walter versus uh, Dragonoff for to, for uh, NXT UK Championship. You got um, Miguel Gonzalez versus the Golden Kai finally for the NXT Women Championship. You got Killer Cross versus Sam uh, uh, Samoa Joe. For the NXT Championship, and Joe wins that, he'll be the first ever three-time NXT Champion. And yes, I still call him Killer Cross because Karrion Cross <laughs> sucks ass. And also, potentially the main event of the show, you got the Unspeared Finale, Adam Cole versus Kyle Wiley in three three stages, stages of hell, a singles match, street fight, and if necessary, a steel cage match. Now, same with the will by NXT, saying it's dead is. It, uh, it's, it is always it's dead. Tony Khan killed it. Vince Man killed it. Call it, you can say whatever you want, but let's just put that on, put that BS on the side. Cause NXT Takeover Saturday, Sunday it gonna be a great show. I'm looking forward to, to, to NXT, and I, I I'm I hope they, they they do deliver this uh this Sunday. Cause if they do, you gotta have all have all the naysayers just. You know, take everything back. They take everything back. What they said about NFT being dead, because NFT is not dead. NFT is alive and well. Just like Empire Wrestling, if people were if people were saying Empire Wrestling was dead, but no, Empire Wrestling not dead. It's, it's alive and well. So, I want this is one I want NFT. I want NFT to go out there this Sunday night and prove that they are still one of the best brands in not only WWE but in wrestling. So that's what I'm telling you guys. That's what I'm telling you, Walter, uh, Elon D Dragonoff. If I say you're not saying your first name wrong, I'm, I apologize. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling, I'm telling Dakota Kai that. I'm telling Raquel Gonzalez that. I'm, I'm telling Killer Cross, Samoa Joe, Adam Cole, Kyle Wiley. I'm telling everybody that has, has a match this Sunday to bring out everything you got. Make sure, make prove all the martyrs wrong. Let, let them know that NT is still. Breathing, cause if you don't come out and have a, a great a takeover, then you, 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 you keep on having the Mars talking, talking. You can keep on having the Mars saying it's, it's dead, and having all it says have all these guys being being cut. It's not dead. So give them some time. It is. It doesn't. It just sucks that everybody got cut for NXT. You damn right. But damn it. I look forward to this NXT takeover. I hope it does deliver, like always, like most takeovers do. But that's all I gotta say about that. Let me know what, you, what, you, who, which uh, show you mo most excited for? Are you excited for AEW AW Rampage tonight? Are you, excited, are you most excited for SummerSlam tomorrow night? Or are you most excited for NXT Takeover 36 Sunday night? Or are you excited for freaking uh, Impact emerges? That's happening the same time as SmackDown tonight. Because I mean that's that that's a, a pretty de a decent uh, car right there. Got Christian Cage versus Brian Myers. Christian gonna be going against uh, as his former Edge head. <laughs> I mean, let me know down below which story are you more more excited for, and make sure you like like the video, 
subscribe, turn the bell on you do not have don't miss any of my videos, and be safe out there because this new variant is going around the world. It's no fucking joke. So make sure you stay staying safe, wearing your masks, uh, social distancing, wash your hands, wipe your ass, you name it. <laughs> so make sure you have a great weekend. Have say say have a birthday to me if you want to, but I'm not gonna force you. But till then, I'm not gonna do it with April Black. I'm out.